SNP Westminster leader Ian Blackford has warned the UK needs to welcome more than 30,000 refugees from Afghanistan. The SNP's leader in Westminster Ian Blackford has told Sky News that the UK should look to take over 30,000 refugees from Afghanistan fleeing the Taliban. The fall of Kabul on Sunday and the utter collapse of the Western-backed Afghan national government have sparked a humanitarian crisis with thousands seeking to escape the country. Mr Blackford called on the UK to adopt a similar position to that held during the civil war in Syria during which the country welcomed in 1% of the total Syrian population Blackford told Sky News. What we need to do is replicate what we had with Syria in 2014. The vulnerable scheme that we had in place there. It is probably worth recalling K. The UK took 20,000 Syrian nationals at that point. It was 0.1% of the Syrian population. So on that basis, we should be looking to take about 35,000 of those from Afghanistan. We need to do this working with the governments throughout the United Kingdom. He added local authorities needed to be incentivized to take Afghan nationals. I would suggest we do this through the UN, through the UNCR which is what we did in 2014, continued Blackford. But what has to be different this time, this has to be down at pace. It is clear that there are a lot of vulnerable people in Afghanistan, vulnerable to the loss of their human rights to the Taliban administration. It comes after Kabul airport saw scenes of chaos over the weekend as desperate Afghan civilians attempt to secure passage out of the country following the Taliban's sudden seizure of power. A. A number of people were reportedly killed at the airport amid desperate attempts to flee Afghanistan. Shocking video captured from the airport in Kabul also appeared to show the moment two people fell from the undercarriage of a departing flight. The short clip shows a large aircraft taking off from the runway at Kabul airport. As the plane begins to lift steepling into the air and gain altitude, what appears to be a person can be seen falling from the fuselage. The figure, believed to be a stowaway, is followed seconds later by a second Afghan who also plummets to their death. U.S. troops were hastily deployed to secure the perimeter of the airport amid a complete collapse of security at the facility. Kabul fell to Taliban forces on Sunday, signaling the victory for the religious hardliners in the long-running conflict.